Uh, hi everyone, how are you going today? Um, I saw the oncologist today and I asked him, am I stage 4 and am I terminal? And he said, yeah. I thought it would have changed. I thought it would have maybe been stage 3. I don't know if you can drop down stages. So, um, I'm still stage 4 terminal. And um, there's no new ones that have grown. Um, it hasn't spread to my lungs, but it has grown a bit. Yeah, it has grown a bit. I said to him I didn't take my chemo tablets last time very well because they made me so sick. So he gave me these real super duper anti-nausea wafers that I'll try. But I said ever since I'm drinking ginger tea, I'm a lot better. Anyway, someone said to me, oh, you're lucky you know when you're going to die. You know how much time you've got and what you can do with it. No, I don't know when I'm going to die. I don't. He goes, ooh, you could you could easily get 10 years if, you, if this immunotherapy works. Some new immunotherapy drug that's coming out. I don't know. If it's out, if it's a trial, if he wants me to try a trial, I don't know. But I have to stick around Melbourne. To, I can't go back to New Zealand. I can't travel. I've got to stay here. And that's not what I want to do. I want to go and live before I die. You know what I mean? No one knows where they're going to die. Nobody. The most healthy guy in the world or girl could get hit by a car tomorrow morning or not wake up. But it's just knowing that it's inside of you, active, and you can feel it when it's aching. It's sickening. It really is. I'm telling you. It's sickening. You don't know until you have it. Um, it's a very, very lonely disease, cancer. It's so lonely. People say, oh, you know, my blah, blah. They got diagnosed and they lived for another la, la, la. It's like, oh, good. You know, I know people that got diagnosed and died, like, within six weeks. Look, it's life, who knows, but it's just, I'm just letting you know, it's, um, yeah, this is my journey that I'm on, and it's, uh, it's a frightening, uncertain journey, and it's like, you're trapped, can't go anywhere. Okay, guys, um, take care. Have a lovely day. I'm going to try to sleep, I guess. Yeah, okay, good night.